it's rare that I see people actually put in the work and not just act like they're putting in the work. And the thing about it is you don't become great by accident. You become great by being consistent. Hello and welcome to A Friend Like Me podcast. I am your host, Shariel, and I started this podcast because everybody needs a friend like me. Today's topic is be consistent or don't start. But before we get into the main topic, I have my first segment, which is called What I've Noticed. What I've noticed with people that are self-centered is they're not aware of how they treat you, especially if they don't treat you right. Say you text them back right away, or you're always helpful for them, you're always lending a helping hand, just being a good person, which you should, but it's not ever reciprocated. And once you stop reciprocating what you're not getting from that other person, then they start to notice it and take it personal which is funny to me because it's like, well, if you would have treated me the way I treated you in the first place, then you wouldn't, I wouldn't have switched up my behavior with you. You're the one not being a good person to me. So now I have to retract going the extra mile for you and you just become a regular associate. And when you're not a good person, you have to get demoted. So now for the main topic, which is be consistent or don't start. The reason I say this is because a lot of people want to do different things. Some people want to do music, some people want to model, do photography, go to the gym, whatever. And that's fine. You should always want to better yourself or go after something you're passionate about. But it's rare that I see people actually put in the work and not just act like they're putting in the work. And the thing about it is you don't become great by accident. You become great by being consistent. Whatever you want to do in life, you have to put 100% into it to get a result. And the thing is, you can go viral really quick for what you do or, you know, make make money off of a design really quick, whatever you desire to do. But the thing about it is consistency builds your muscle to be great. And when you put those years into it, when you really put your time into it, you have longevity. And even if you want to take out, you know, career goals out of it, just going to the gym. If you know you want to get back into the gym, be consistent or don't go. Because if you inconsistently go to the gym, you're not going to get your best results. Then you're going to get discouraged and not go back to the gym and say the gym doesn't work for me. No, you're not working hard enough by being consistent in the gym. And a lot of the times when we have goals or we have something that we want to do, we think that if we don't get the results fast enough, we don't want to do it. And sometimes we don't realize we're not even being consistent to get those results. The thing is, when you're building habits or building toward a career, you need to be patient. Consistency requires being patient because you're doing this over and over and over until you get better, until your habits start forming, and that takes time. Just because social media is instant, real life is still real life. It still moves at its speed. Babies still take nine months to develop. It still takes a quarter of a year to develop certain crops, sometimes an entire year to develop certain crops for food. There's certain things that are just set in place that take time. And we have to be patient and be consistent until we get those things. And the same thing is with eating right. People, that keto diet was popular a couple years ago. And the thing is, once you stopped the keto diet, you gained all the weight back. You literally, if you stopped dieting and made eating healthy a lifestyle step by step, you don't have to go from eating red meat to going vegan. You just need to go step by step into a healthier direction. And I feel like a lot of us, because we don't want to be consistent, we want results right away, we go from one extreme to the other And then that causes us to relapse and go right back to who we were before. So for me, you know, I could be like, oh, I want to go to the gym five days a week. That's not realistic. You need to start with baby steps. Go to the gym two days a week, then three days a week. And if you want to go more, go more. But you have to be consistent with those baby steps before you get to make bigger leaps and bigger jumps. The same thing is for people that want to do music. 
I know so many people that want to do music, but they're not even consistently in the studio. They're not consistently putting out projects. They're not consistently putting out music videos. And I don't understand how you're going to become a rapper or a singer if you put out a mixtape once a year or a music video once a year. There's millions of people that want to do that. And for you not to be consistent and really putting in that work, it's not going to happen for you unless you become a consistent and that's why in the title I say be consistent or don't start because a lot of the times we start things and we don't put our all into it and then we're disappointed when we get crappy results and then it's to the point where you shouldn't have started in the beginning in the first place if you can't see yourself doing this as a career like say you have a hobby that you know you can make money off of or something you're passionate about and you want to make into a business if you can't see yourself doing this for free, like you don't love it enough to do it for free, don't start. Because if you're driven by money, you're going to be miserable, especially if it takes too long for you to really make enough money to make a living. Another thing that I notice people like to do is people like to do stuff just because somebody else does it. They see someone else with a clothing brand or they see someone else trying to model or see someone else do whatever, like maybe even get a certain degree. If that's not your genuine interest, if that's not authentic to you, you're not going to be consistent at it either because you're just doing it because you're seeing someone else do it and you think it's cool, but that's not even who you really are. So don't start stuff unless you know you're truly passionate about it or you have a true interest in it where you can see yourself down the line doing it every single day to becoming better at it. There's so many examples in life that shows us consistency pays off but very few people are going to be consistent especially when it comes to being better as a person you got to put those shots up to have that muscle memory when you're in the real game you have to build those ab muscles you have to do cardio to burn the fat off and then you're going to get the definition it doesn't go from fat to definition you have to burn it off so there's, there's a process to it, and that's the point of consistency because when you're consistent, you go through that process, and then you get it. It's not There's no shortcuts to it. And I feel like with this generation, we always want a quick fix. We want um, instant results, and life doesn't work like that. So I really encourage you with like whatever you want to do, even if it's reading a book, reading more books, start off small with anything you want to do, start off small. It could be one to two pages a day, but just make sure you're reading every single day. That's what matters. The action matters more than the amount of what you're doing. And a lot of the times, like I said, we go from one extreme to another. We go from not doing anything to doing a whole bunch, and then we get burnt out or we get discouraged, and then we stop. So if you feel like you won't stick to it, don't even start to avoid your disappointment. And if you do want to be consistent at something, start with baby steps. So I hope this episode was helpful for you. And now it's time for my last segment. And it's called A Song to Expand Your Attention Span because most songs nowadays are only three minutes. And that song is Booby Miles by Big Crit. Thank you for listening to my podcast and have a great rest of your week.